Hi, my name is Shelly Henning, and I'm the co-founder and chief operating officer at Grow Family. And we provide resources and training for ministry leaders, churches, and parents to have generational impact in the lives of children and youth. Now, as ministry leaders, most everyone is aware of the statistics today that are surrounding youth, young adults, and faith. Now, most recently, Gallup, just this past April, released some new statistics. Of millennials today, 42%, only 42% are church members. Now, in comparison to that, at the same age as the millennials today, Gen X was surveyed 20 years ago, and 62% of Generation X were church members. So obviously we see a startling trend. The thing about it is this trend isn't new. These might be the most recent statistics, but it's the same research and the same numbers that we're seeing over the last four decades. Now, generally, most churches today are all using the same ministry model, and it's the model that we've been using for these last 40 years. We have the church, and we have just outside of that, almost connected, but not quite, children, or sometimes it's youth. Churches might have other circles for senior adult ministry or college ministry. But what this last four decades of research has told us, that this model of ministry right here is producing this model of faith. So our life and our church are becoming less connected. And now, after that, we've actually switched the two, and this is the faith that we know this model is producing, and the four decades of research haven't changed. This is what's happening. So at Grow, at, uh, Grow Family, we want to encourage churches to really take a deep look at the model of ministry that they're using and to evaluate and innovate, maybe in a way that they've never considered doing ministry before. So we talk a lot about youth and young adults, and that's wonderful. We absolutely wanna keep those conversations going. But if we don't start thinking younger, if we don't start talking about children, this model is never going to change. We are constantly going to be going in circles. The research and data tells us that our moral and spiritual foundations are already almost completely formed by the age of nine. So we really want churches to start thinking about children. Now, as we think about that and we talk about how can we strengthen even this model of ministry, there's branches that we can, we, we can take that really keep these two very connected. And what we really wanna do is integrate this into this. So what's one branch that we can strengthen that I wanna talk about today is parents. Now, we have all heard of different ministries that provide a lot of different resources for parents and equipping parents to share faith with children. But what we know, again, going back to this research, is that sending that take-home paper will never be enough. Uh, the research from the Barna Group tells us that nine out of 10 parents believe that the spiritual formation responsibility of their children is theirs, not the church's. So parents already know that it's their responsibility in the, for the faith formation of their children. So if they know it's their responsibility, what's happening? Well, the same research with the same parents told us that nine out of 10 parents, again, believe that the church 
is more equipped to do that work. So they have chosen to allow the church to take over what is the God-given responsibility of parents. But why, again? It's not because they're not willing, and it's not because they're too busy. The research told us they feel that they're not equipped, as I just mentioned. They feel like they don't have the training to nurture a child's faith. They feel like they don't know or understand the goals that they're seeking to satisfy in the faith formation of their kids. They felt that they needed a plan for spiritual development that the church wasn't providing them. And finally, they felt that they needed accountability for their efforts that they weren't getting from the church. We really, as churches and ministry leaders, we need to strengthen the branch of parents. We need to reconsider how we equip and how we empower parents to live out their faith with their children every single day. So I wanna challenge you to really take a deep look at what your ministry is doing to walk alongside parents as they live out that calling. And if you need some inspiration at Grow Family, we've developed 20 years of what we call growth rings that are intended to help churches and parents in the faith development of their kids all the way through age 20. And we think that it can be an innovative way for the churches to really show parents how they can walk with their kids in some key faith formation elements. So I want to encourage you to take a look at that today. Have a great Wednesday.